Well, I ordered some parts <clears throat> for this bike. The hubs, hopefully I'll get everything I need to get that hub and the speedometer gear drive wrapped up. So that'll be cool. I found a screw. I found that uh, I believe at least this fork is totally empty because the screw was out and shit was leaking when I was moving it. So it all, whatever was in there probably leaked out. I got to clean up the forks <clears throat> and uh, drain the oil out of this side if it hasn't been done <clears throat> and put new oil in at least minimum. I got to do that with this front end because when I pushed down on this, it didn't come back at all. So it's all depressurized and shit. I don't know if there's nitrogen gas in these or what. I, I don't know anything about the suspension. Most of the time I just... Uh, let them leak and keep make sure there's stuff in them and ride the bike a bit. But man, I uh, I took the tail end off. It was already loose. All I had to do was uh, loosen one more bolt that was tied to the gas tank. And a whole rear end came off there. And the fender was in there somewhere. I just had to pull a wire off. And then uh, pulled the tank out. It was all clogged up with rust. All kind of shitty, stinky gas came out. I shined it up a little bit the other day when it was on the bike. But I think that'll be clean upable. What I used to do is get a handful of nuts and bolts and throw it inside the tank and shake it around with a bunch of gas and oil in it. Try to clean it out, dump it all out. Dump it out the bottom, see if any sediment comes out. There's a lot of sediment in there. It was plugging up the filter. There was a small filter in the pickup. Where is it? Down here. There's a small filter that goes in. I don't know where the piece is right now. It's probably on the bench or something. And uh, so I blew that out. It's not in real good shape, but... Uh, It'll probably pass gas through there if I, once I get all the sediment. I don't even know where the hell it is. But anyway, I was sitting here daydreaming, looking at this thing. These pipes will clean up every bit as good as those did, and those those are on the bad side looking up. But I'm going to probably scrub on those pipes too and shine these up. And then I was thinking, man, it'd be cool to build a... Uh, Move the battery, get some, get whatever cable you need. Build a little pad between, here's a good mounting point here and probably a good mounting point here. You could weld up a little frame of a shelf, and move the battery down there. And then somewhere off that bracketry have a, uh, I don't know, a Mustang seat. And then, uh, have a custom tank made that would look cool from whatever direction you want to make it look cool from. This thing looks pretty stout just the way it is. I'm going to ride it like a chariot. Don't even sit down. Just get on there and ride it. It'll be hard to shift though. Oh! Get a get some of those uh, single jobby do carbs, air cleaners, individual ones individuals shine this up down here get this make this stuff look like new have those tubes running down you could see them i love looking at the mechanical i don't like it all covered up with bodywork but and you could still probably put the windshield on and maybe i don't know make your own fairing that just smaller I don't know, something uh, something cool. It already looks pretty cool. Just something to cover up for wind, I guess. I don't know, it might look dorky with a, just putting the fairing by itself without the, I mean the windscreen. Put the, put the gauge cover and the windscreen on without all the other shit. And then mount your own custom blinkers off of this or take this off. I'm not sure. No, that'll be, I don't know. You could probably take this right off and still have enough to mount 
your own bracket for a fairing or something that didn't have all this shit on it. Unless you want to hang some shit off that. You could weld up something. I don't know. Yeah, why bother if you already got the fairing? But I think it would be cool to get that battery down underneath the seat here. Get a get a cool looking seat. Maybe one that's like fake on springs or like that old fashioned springy kind of seat back there, a single. What would really be cool is to have that and then have the mufflers or the uh, exhaust come up and through and then go around the tire and you're sitting above it, but that might make you hot, but that would look cool. Some cool exhaust pipes. I might just get this thing running. I'll get that bearing. I'll get those uh, hubs on the front. I'll bleed the brakes and everything so I can stop. And then I'll just work on getting this one actually rolling and running and seeing if that TCI box is any better than the one from that venture. I'm, I still don't trust that because I think my engine is good. I put it all back together. And I uh, did a compression check, of course, with no carburetors on this time. And it was a good 140, at least, for all four of them. And they were pretty close. I was getting so screwed up with thinking about why that compression was doing that. Because I don't usually have trouble, so I never, I never mess with the compression of an engine. It always seemed like it was always been good enough. I had one bike that had a cracked piston. Sometimes it ran okay, sometimes it didn't. But that's the only engine trouble like that I ever had. I really got screwed up on these. But anyway, I know how to do a compression check now. So so I think I'm going to get this one so I can actually shift it and drive it. I'm going to I'm going to put some fork oil in these. I'm going to bleed the brakes, clean out this clean out whatever part of the brake system I have to if I have to get in there to calipers. But I won't know until I start messing with it. I like to just clean up the uh, the uh, pistons and the uh, booster, whatever you want to call this, master cylinder. Get in there and clean that up if you have to. First, bleed it and see if I can get fresh fresh brake fluid through. If I can get fresh brake fluid through everywhere without seeing any leaks or major stoppages, I have a feeling I'll have to do the same thing as I did on the other. I might not have to mess with calipers. But I'll probably have to take this master cylinder all apart. And hopefully it's all just connected. I'm just uh, all connected the way it should be because I just want to leave it alone for now. Just as long as I got brakes. I know some people want to disconnect the rear brake from the front. And I can understand that, but that's not what I'm into here now. I think this thing looks great without anything but engine and tire and ex exhaust pipes. I would love to take that down the road. And then uh, take those quiet pipes off and put some hell razors on. That'd be kind of fun. I think I should get new tires if I'm actually going to ride it anywhere. But I'll get it rolling first and see if it's going to even be worth it. I still might have a bunch of trouble. This thing might not run correctly at high RPM. But it seems the engine and electronics might be better than this one was from the get-go. So it might work out. And there's the Harley getting all ignored. Too bad. <laughs> 